stage. You know, Billy and the Ravens have been together now for, uh, what, uh, 13, 14 years? We've been together a long time. Uh, Brian joined us 10 years ago. And uh, Valentine and I got together. That's my bass player. And uh, one of the first songs we ever wrote was the one that is coming. And it talks about lessons in life that your parents want to hand down to you. You know, they, they give you pointers so you don't stumble through your life. And I hope you guys like that.
Thank you, people. Thank you very much. Yeah, that was probably the second song we ever wrote. So, it is in the uh, drive that we're selling for $15. It's got all three albums of ours. Uh, also has pictures and the bio of the band. Yes, yeah, right. And you can you can actually uh, make CDs, download it on your computer, your phone. Etc. Etc. And then you plug it in a USB in your car, plays right up. So if you guys want to, they are just sitting on the table here for grabs. 
in life and stuff. Because uh, I am of the belief that love is a very powerful thing. People will do incredible things for love. You know, and, uh, I believe that it's probably the most powerful force in the universe. So that's why we sing about love. And this song is called I'm going to cry.
And love is, keeps being the main theme of this song. I wrote this song also for the love of my life. It tells the story how we met.
have to uh, enlarge this little set here. Thank you. 
Thank you, people. You're wonderful. Give you. yourself a pat on the back because you guys have a great audience. Usually when we go any place, I mean, people are listening to certain artists, you know, especially Led Zeppelin, you know what I mean? There's a lot of Elizabeth and Die Hard too. You know? I tell you one thing though, I cannot sing like Robert Plant. You know, I'm gonna have to do like that mammy on, on YouTube where the Bee Gees are singing, the guy comes and knees him in the you know, and then you start singing high. You know. But uh, we made an arrangement for one of their famous songs. And here is, I hope you guys like it.
I said I've been crying All my tears don't feel like rain When you hear them falling Can you hear them falling Falling. Do you remember, Mama? When I knocked up on your door, I said you had the nerve to tell me you didn't want me no more. I opened my front door. Oh yeah. Yeah. I can see uh, some diehard Let's Up in fans here. Right, this is also on a new album. Dark Thoughts is the album. The next one is called Joey Ride Blues. And it talks about uh, when we got the lockdown and how people were driving their cars with their spouses or girlfriends. And they head to the beach just to go somewhere because they were a little bit claustrophobic at home. So I hope you guys like this one. It's called Joey Ride Blues.
You guys like that one? It seems like one. Yeah. It was cool, I guess. <laughs> We're gonna jam a little bit now. Recently, we lost uh, Shining Star, the great um, Mr. Jeff Beck. You know, I. I, I ain't lying to you, but the first solo album, soloist album I ever heard was Jeff Beck's album. Yeah. That sounded like Jeff Beck, like a constipated duck. Turn it on, huh? Yeah, it was Jeff Beck's album, and uh, it is hard to... To think that he's gone, you know, and we lost so many of them in the last five years. So we're gonna jam a little bit on one of his songs. Hopefully, you guys will love, love this. <laughs>
Thank you, people. Thank you very much. This is part of our last album. This one is called This Is How I Feel the Blues.
All right, uh, like I said before, my son served, went to fire for our country, and um, I had to see him depart. So this song is called My Child Went to War. It's an instrument.
Thank you, people. Thank you very much. All right, we're going to take another little break. We'll come right back. Come on, honey. 